So I'm at one of our properties, this one in Talking Rock, Georgia, and there are holes that have been dug in the property. And I'll show you some photographs of all these holes. And why are all these holes dug into our property? So the reason for these holes, and I'll show you another one, and why they have been dug on this property is because we are subdividing this land into two separate building lots. Currently, there's a house that we are finishing renovating uh, right now, and there's enough acreage here for us to get another building lot. And in this area of the county, all the houses are on a septic system. They're not connected to uh, the city or the county sewer system, but each plot of land has its own septic system. Uh, so this might be new to some of you and you don't understand what a septic system is or it seems kind of antiquated, but it's very normal in a rural area or an area even close to a major city like we are, uh, not too far from Atlanta, but it's out far enough that just not connected to any major sewer system. Uh, so what they do is dig these holes in order for the Department of Environmental Health to give a permit for us to install a new septic system in the ground. They want these holes dug so that they can perform a perk test. So an engineer, a geologist comes and uh, performs a perk test to see uh, how the water will percolate through the soil. And I'll leave a link uh, to that if you want to take a deep dive into how septic systems work and why that's important to have a perk test done. But that's the reason for these holes. So the earth, the ground is, go is going to be tested uh, with these holes. And, uh, and then when the test is passed, is completed, we will then be issued a permit to have two new septic systems installed. One that will be connected to this house and another system that will be connected that will be in the ground on that plot of land over there uh, with a new house yet to be built.